In this episode, you'll get a quick introduction to the Time Vision Action Zone. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Time Vision Action Zone, where you get to own your time, develop your vision, and take action. Let's go into today's episode. I have a goal. My goal is to help people see and surpass their highest potential. My name is Michael Garcia. I am a facilitator, a teacher, a motivator, a speaker, and a coach. I'm also a husband, a son, a brother, and a friend. And this is my introduction to the Time Vision Action Zone. Let me start off by saying thank you so much for your time. I know it's something that you can never get back. So for that, I say thank you. And I will do everything I can to make this time valuable. Let's jump in to why I chose Time Vision Action as the name for this podcast. And also, let me give you an idea of what to expect going forward. Time is something that we get very limited amounts of. It's passing us by every single day. There's no way we can go back or rewind it. Nobody's invented the time machine and nobody has been able to freeze time. Benjamin Franklin said it best when he said, you may delay, but time will not. Here is something about time that I've come to realize. At some point, our time will be up. I've learned the value in knowing the exact day that I'm going to die. I've come to understand that I have very little and very limited time left. So therefore, I must maximize it. This is why I do my best not to sit idle and let time pass. I know that once it's gone, it's gone forever. I have developed routines and systems to help me own my time. I've researched and continuously studied new approaches to time management. I'm looking forward to sharing that with all of you. Believe me when I tell you I am not a perfectionist when it comes to time. There are moments when I catch myself saying that I can be better with my own time. Like everyone else, I am a work in progress. I will be sharing the habits that I'm learning with the intention of helping you to develop your time management in effect, helping you to own your time. I've asked a ton of people who I've trained over the years, where do you see yourself in five years or 10 years? The common response is, I don't know. Hopefully I will have a job and I'm okay. This response can be so self-defeating. It means that the person I'm talking to hasn't taken an opportunity to really picture what they want their life to look like. They have not yet developed a vision. We used to do it as kids. When I played with my toys, I had my imagination running at 180 miles an hour. Having a vision may require you to be a kid again. In order for a vision to come to life, you must be able to picture something that you want so bad and then describe it to the world as if it already existed. It can be a certain way of living. It could be financial freedom. It could be even having children. There's so many different things that a vision can be, but the most important part of a vision is its clarity. You have to be able to clearly articulate your vision to the world if it's ever going to come to fruition. I've learned many different methods to developing a vision. Mind mapping is one of my favorites. 
You can also make vision boards. You can meditate. You can even doodle aimlessly. Ralph Waldo Emerson understood vision when he said, when there is no vision, people perish. Throughout future episodes, I will help you develop your vision. But what good is understanding time and having a vision if you do nothing? Taking action is the most important part of the equation that leads to a successful life. Action is literally just convincing yourself to do whatever it is you need to do in order to get the result you want to get. Let me give you an example of how this all comes together. My wife and I have been trying to get pregnant for over two years. It's been an ongoing battle. And by battle, it's been one that I've enjoyed, but at the same time, one that I've been hurt by. Both of us agree we want children. Both of us would love to have just one. We've gone to doctors, we've done tests, and the response that we get is that it's an inexplicable infertility. Now, to some, that might be defeating. To me, it's an opportunity to learn about new ways of getting pregnant. So I'm learning about IUI and IVF. I'm understanding the different periods of time where I have opportunities, higher opportunities, to get my wife pregnant. I will not give up. I'm 41 going on 42. She's in her mid-30s. It's not too late, and I'm not giving up. I have a clear vision of what I want, of what we want. We both agree on it. It's so clear that we can see it, describe it, hold it, feel it, smell it. The emotion is there. The actions, well, I'm not going to give you details, but you have an idea of what actions have to happen. We're taking those actions. I totally have faith that as long as I understand and own my time, that I develop a vision that is clear and unforgettable, and that I take actions no matter what circumstances life throws at me, I will get whatever I want. This is a small overview of what I'm about to do with this podcast. And I really, really hope that you subscribe and that you listen and that you become a part of this journey with me. I thank you once again. Remember, own your time, develop your vision, and take action. Welcome to the Time Vision Action Zone.